now we are discussing about composite bars or compound bars from the topic simple stresses and strains so let us take a composite bar made up of a steel rod which is inserted in a copper tube and on this composite bar a tensile load is applied like this and here let us take sigma s is the stress induced in this steel rod and sigma c is the stress induced in the copper tube and here the total load acting on this composite bar is shared between the steel rod and copper tube that is capital total load capital p is equals to ps plus pc load shared by steel rod plus load shared by copper tube so this we can write as load shared by steel rod as sigma s as that is stress in the steel rod and uh, multiplied by area of steel rod and uh, load shared by copper tube is stress in copper tube and area of copper tube so this we can write from the simple formula of stress that is stress is equals to load by area and uh, stress if we require stress in steel rod we'll write load shared by steel rod by area of cross section of steel rod so here and uh, we can write stress sorry load taken by steel rod as stress in steel rod into area of cross section of steel rod in the same way load shared by copper tube is nothing but stress in copper tube and area of cross section of copper tube or area of copper tube so from this simple formula we can write this step or this uh, equation so let us take this as equation number one and here we know that in a compound bar or composite bar the elongation or the extension of the bar is same for the uh, constituents of the bar means if we apply the load here the uh, elongation or extension is same in the steel rod and copper tube so from that consideration we can write elongation of steel rod is, is equals to elongation of the copper tube and this we can write uh, as uh, ps ls by as es that is is equals to elongation of copper tube is nothing but pc lc by ac ec so this we can write from the simple uh, formula that is delta l elongation is equals to pl by ae or we can write in this form also that is sigma s ls by es where we are replacing ps by as as sigma s that is load by area as stress and uh, sigma c lc by ec so this also we can write from the simple basic formulas that is Young's modulus is equals to stress by strain and strain is equals to stress by Young's modulus and strain we can we know that it is change in length by original length when you take strain in the lengthwise direction and the right side is as it is and if we require extension or elongation we will send this l this side so extension or elongation delta l is equals to sigma l by e so that is nothing but if you write the place of sigma load by area that will become pl by ae so this is the in this form we can we have written in, uh, initially so if we require extension of steel rod we can write stress in steel rod length of steel rod by x modulus of steel rod and in the same way extension of copper tube it is stress in copper tube length of copper tube by x modulus of the copper tube so from this basic formulas we can write this equation and let us take this as equation number two so from these two equations that is this load equation and uh, this uh, elongation equ equations we can find out the load shared by this copper tube and the steel rod easily or any other uh, unknown value we can uh, find out in the case of composite bars or compound bars so here if this load uh, length of the steel rod and uh, copper tube are equal so in this case we have taken the uh, length of steel rod and uh, copper tube is same or in this case and this composite bar we have taken length of two um, elements which are making the composite bar as same but in some cases this uh, may not be equal means suppose here a composite or compound bar is made something like this 
with the two different um, lengths of elements so in this case we cannot take uh, initial length l1 is equals to l2 so in that case we have to use this form of equation only so but if you take initially the two lengths of the elements which are making the composite bar are, are equal so from this equation we can cancel this lengths also so when you take initial lengths of two elements of composite bar is same so we can write the next step as like sigma s es by sigma c ec or sigma s by sigma c is equals to es by ec so this sigma es by ec that is model Young's modulus of steel by Young's modulus of copper so this ratio is uh, termed as modular ratio of steel to copper so friends to explain this composite bar or compound bar we have taken like steel rod and copper tube so in this place we may have any two materials or any three materials we have like that so suppose if you take uh, one and two like that so we can write these equations equation number one and equation number two in, in the form of one and two means if you take material one and material two so like that we can write total load p is equals to sigma one a one plus sigma two a two and also this uh, second equation as sigma one l one by a one is equals to sigma two l two by a two so in the place of steel and copper we have taken material one and material two so this will be the generalized uh, equation and this is also generalized equation for this composite bar so these from these two equations we can find find any unknown thing so this is the uh, concept uh, about uh, composite bar or compound bar so for more videos please subscribe and activate bell symbol please like it share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching